At this rate, the planet should be in a suitable state for our purposes within the next few months. It's the perfect planet for our operation. Operation? Who are you people? Don't worry, almost through. A high concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and other greenhouse gases. The inhabitants of this planet have been slowly destroying that world. Similar to your Earth. Bygone industries. Pitched up here about a year ago offering cheap resources. Everything's dead. The water's undrinkable. Some kids went up to their ankles and a huge rash came up over their legs. Killed the poor devils, I think. Missing fishermen, missing ecologists and dead children. Castonian crystals. A cheap source of energy mined from the planet Castonia. So what? Well, apart from being highly unstable, Castonian crystals, when drained, are capable of releasing toxic fumes. Toxic? Are we safe? Well, I suggest you stop using it. It's back at the TARDIS. I want to see what exactly they're poisoning the water with. Almost done, Kathy. I think we'd better move. Nearly there. Doctor, look out! Kathy, get back! What is it? The Scarrison. Who are these humans? No idea, sir. The Scarrison picked them up. Perhaps these are the ones who interfered with the crystal. Possibly. Pull off the Scarrison, Higgins. I want these two alive for the time being. Sir. Just left. Why didn't it attack us? Whoever is on the other side of it obviously still wants us alive. Someone's controlling it. But who? A race of fetal headed aliens called Zygons. Come on, let's take this back to the TARDIS. I need to run those tests. That bleeding doctor, throwing us into perpetual darkness like that. If I ever see him around here again... Oh, hush. He said it was dangerous, so stop your moaning. That might be him now, if the monster didn't eat them. Oh, be quiet, why don't you? Hello, Professor. I need to speak to you both. It is a matter of great urgency. Well, what is it, Professor? I understand that you've had visitors here. How did you know... Don't worry about how I know, but I must speak to them. Where are they? Took off to find the sea monster everyone keeps talking about. But where are they now? Where are they from? Travellers, they said. I don't know if they'll be back or not. Then I shall wait here for their return. Oh, right. Sorry I can't get you anything. We've been having a spot of bother with our... Power unit, yes, I know. Very impressive. Didn't know you had a laboratory. The TARDIS is almost infinite in size, Cathy. Aha! You found something? I have indeed. Traces of poisons in the water, and the oxygen levels are dangerously low. So, these Zygons are trying to destroy a planet with pollution. But if they have a huge monster, why not use that? They don't want to attract attention to themselves, and they don't want to destroy Nikon, but colonise it. You see, their home planet was completely obliterated in a stellar explosion, and since then they've been trying to take over other planets to replace it. The gas released by the crystals, all that pollution, it's all part of the Zygon's very own terraforming process. Even Earth has been a target on a few occasions. I never heard anything about Zygons on Earth. Your future, Kathy. What do you think the Loch Ness Monster is? A scarrison? We need to speak to Lita and Kisten. They seem to believe what we're talking about. And now we have the proof. So, are we going to just expose Bygone Industries for what it is? A cover-up for an invasion? The Zygons are a crafty race of shapeshifters. I wouldn't be surprised if they replaced most of the original inhabitants of the planet. So, anyone here could be a Zygon? Even Lita and Kisten? I know. Scary, isn't it? When you can't tell your enemies from your allies. He's been sat like that for over an hour now. Just staring into space. Maybe I should go in and have a word with him. He's never been like this before. Alright, but be careful. Are you alright there, Professor? You sure you don't want anything? It would appear you have a visitor outside. Oh, uh, yes, I'll just go and get it. Doctor! Hello, Kisten. Lita? You're safe. Did you go to the sea? Yeah, and we ran into that sea monster too. And it just left you? Someone's controlling it. Oh, hello there. I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm the Doctor and this is Kathy. I am Professor Neron. He's with the ecologists. 
Are you really? Marvelous, now that you've been seeing the changes taking place to your planet's ecostructure. Indeed, I believe the cause is bygone industries. Things have rapidly deteriorated on Lycum since their arrival. Well, you're spot on. We've got proof, haven't we, Doctor? Yes, water samples from the sea showing large quantities of deadly toxins. And then, of course, there are the power units that they fitted. So it's definitely bygone industries, then. Well, we need to take this to authorities at once. It would be no use. Bygone Industries are in complete control of this world. In more ways than one. What do you mean? Bygone Industries is a cover-up of an invasion plan by a group of shape-shifting aliens called Zygons. Zygons? They're the ones controlling the Scarrison, that sea monster. It's a cybernetic organism that houses the lactic fluid they need to survive. You seem very well informed, Doctor. I've met them before, on Earth. But why are they destroying the planet if they want to take over? The planet's ecosystem needs to be restructured so that they can survive here. At the current rate, I think it wouldn't be more than a few months before this planet was completely uninhabitable for humans. Then what can we do? Inform the rest of the planet, tell them what's happening while I go to Bygone Industries. The Zygons will kill you as soon as you go anywhere near that place again. Aye, you might as well stick a tiger on your head. No, I don't think so. The Zygons didn't kill us before, remember? I think they're just as intrigued about yours truly as I am about them. No, Doctor. I think it would be unwise for you to do so. Many of my colleagues have ventured inside and never returned. It's a risk I'm willing to take. In that case, I must return to my workshop. I have duties to perform. I hope all goes well at Bygone Industries, Doctor. He seems a bit odd. I know what you mean. Well, he's not like that normally. Half the time you can't get him to shut up. He's always gabbing on about something new he's discovered or whatever. I think I'll follow him to his workshop. See what he's really up to. Good idea. Meet me back here as soon as you're done. I'm just going to finish looking at these samples. Wish me luck! So what else is in the water, Doctor? A wide variety of poisons. Yes, the Zygons have created quite a nice chemical soup here. If you so much as touch this stuff, you'll be killed instantly. Well, you've been touching it. Precisely the point I'm trying to make. Why? Why am I not dead? What can be in it that's... What's wrong? Can't be. But it is. How could I have been so stupid not to see it? See what? The combination. The mixture of the chemicals doesn't kill you. You should be poisoned, but this mixture has created a compound that instead gets absorbed into human tissue. Into your cells. And that's bad. Ridiculously bad. Human cells get rewritten. Into what? Zygon technology. How did he... Lita, you said some boys went into the water and developed a rash. That's right. Can you describe it for me? I'll try. I only saw it in once before then. Please try. Um, well, it was like their skin had become all thick and rubbery. All sorts of things sprouting out all over the place. Zygon technology. I should have guessed. They don't want to kill you. They want to use you. They don't want to waste anything, recycling an entire population. Zygon technology is part organic, and they've rewritten your genetic structure so it can be of use to them. You're just as much a part of the terraforming process as the rest of the planet. So, we're like paper being recycled into something else. I'm sorry. What those people? The monsters? Oh, I'm kissing. Shut up a minute. I beg your shh. What's that noise? Quick! Get out of here! Now! What the hell was that? The Scarus is heading to this unit. Oh my god! Doctor! 